Hello, David. It is good to it's see you, my friend. Sir Jams and everybody out there on YouTube land. It is the Jim and Dave beer, beer review. review. Dave, you please tell us what's on tap for this beer review. Uh, something, something brewing here. This is a layered, it's called layered. Layered. Everybody must get layered. Dutra Brewing Company with Voodoo Brewing, collaboration of sorts, bring a stout, an imperial double, 10.2 ABV. Oh. It says, Laird is a German chocolate cake inspired imperial stout, brewed in collaboration with our pals at Voodoo. Brewed with many layers of chocolate and caramel malts, conditional heaps of vanilla, pecan, cacao, nibs, and coconut. Cacao? Decadent chocolate notes backed with rich vanilla, lush coconut, and deep pecan. Ooh, wow. Our expedition. Nice. Oh, my. Oh, my. That sounds very inviting. Very inviting. Very much so. Let's take a little look here, Dave. That is black as night there. I hold up to the light and nothing goes through. It's 100% opaque. Decent amount of, uh, not quite one finger, but I poured about half a head on it. It's a tan color. Give it a little sniff here. Go, go, go. Let's see it again. Ooh. It's like chocolate cake, dude, right? Yeah, yeah. Like chocolate cake, it's man. smooth with great like curves. Cordova. Like the Cordova. No, I was kidding. I never drank a Cordova. <laughs> Although, if you had to make a drink from a Cordova, this would be one of the ingredients. Hey, what was the rug? It was, it was shag it's carpet. Smells sweet, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, mmm. What was that one with dogs? Like, mm -hmm. Something here. It was the best, I think. They had the, the cherry cake type of this. No, the, what was it called? It was called something else. Cherry what? Shuba, Shaba, somebody. I can't remember. Oh, was it um, cherry? I, it wasn't cherry sherbet. Um, oh. Cherry stout. It's a stout. Um, no. Cherry. Oh, well. Let's not digress too much. Let's jump right into it, buddy. This I smells fantastic. I can't wait to drink it. 10.5% ABV, right? Cheers. 10.2, man. Oh, oh. That goes down so nicely. I I proclaim, I, I have to say, Dave, this is our third expedition pack, and the Imperial I, Stouts are always the star of the pack. The other three I, are okay, but oh, the stouts have been so good. Oh yeah, but I like I like them all so far, even though they're like thirty dollars a piece. I do like them. I mean, I, I buy them all again, quite frankly. But uh, the stouts for all three so far have been the star. I just I I hope they release another one that is all stouts. And even if they charge forty bucks for, it. I realize these are high ABV, it's oh, more yeah. base ingredients. They gotta charge more. But all yeah. the stouts in the one twelve pack. Yes, they should do that. Four different stouts. I pay forty two dollars for that. Something high ABV like this, I do the same thing. If it was thirty, it'd be a miracle. Oh, mm, so good, um, Dave. I'm just gonna go for it. Eight point two five out of ten. Mm. Uh, have, in all I, fairness, if the bar was set kind of low for the first three, but I really like this. It is fun. Um. So, what? You, give us a number from the scale of um, one to ten, Dave. Uh, eight uh, and a half. Eight and a half, Dave. I don't like the fact you like this beer more than me. I like that now. It's one of those things. I have two more after this. Oh yes. Oh yes, absolutely. Oh, I got yes. one more. I couldn't wait. But yeah, uh, just a fantastic all-around beer. Again, I think the Imperial Stouts have been the star of every Expedition pack. This is number three release so far. Uh, oh, yeah. Really good. We recommend it. If you like Imperial Stouts, you've got to try this beer. Don't let it get away. 
I would love to try it from the original brewery that the recipe came from, but maybe it's a collaboration. Maybe they both came out for it. But my impression has been that it is Levante making recipes that these other beers have already come. These other breweries have already come up with. Excuse Good me. Trail. Talking about. Absolutely new trail. Now listen, we'd like to end by saying that women are pregnant shouldn't drink alcoholic beverages due to the risk of birth defects. You should not operate heavy machinery or drive a vehicle if you're under the influence of alcohol. Right. And of course, excessive drinking can cause health problems. And right. reason we try all these different beers is we believe that you, our viewers, should drink great beer. And I'm going to laugh to your friends. We are friends. We love you. This is Roger on the channel. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down and comment below. And we'll see you next time on the Jim and Dave Beer Review.